Welcome to Disinformation. I'm Richard Metzger. Each year in the United States, 23,000 children vanish from their homes. Grave sites are vandalized while churches are burned to the ground. Who are the shadowy figures behind these activities? In our first story tonight, Disinformation takes you deep undercover for an incredible but true look at satanic cults in America today. Since the dawn of the human species, man has wrestled with the dark side of human nature. Sometimes the dark side has won the battle for our souls. This evil has been known by different names. In ancient Egypt, there were those who worshipped Set, the demon of death and destruction. And in modern day Southern California, there were those who worshipped Satan, the prince of lies. I love evil and I love evil actions. Those who are true Satanists do evil things. We at least want evil. What I did in the ritual was form a pact with the devil and kind of dedicated my life formally to that path. Satan does exist, and he is very real and very powerful. I remember strangling the dog with a, with a wire. I dedicated that sacrifice to Satan. Former FBI Special Agent Ted Gunderson has been investigating modern Satanism for over 20 years. He spoke to us about the growing problem of Satanic cults. Southern California is a pivotal area for Satanic cult activity in America. Cults are much stronger than people realize. Uh, I would estimate there's an excess of three million in the United States alone. Since the death in 1997 of Church of Satan founder Anton LaVey, a number of satanic splinter groups have sprung up, spreading their message through the internet. The leaders of these groups have recently joined forces, calling themselves the Syndicate of the Five Points. Our satanic reporter, Brian Butler, has extensively researched this inner circle. Who are the main members of this group? Clergyman Behemoth, Spook, Desecration, Pele, and Magister Brian Knowles. Which one of them is the leader? Definitely Knowles. There are so-called satanic leaders who have been identified in America today. But if you interview them one-on-one, -on -one, they say, we don't break the law. We don't commit human sacrifices. Or uh, we're not involved in sex orgies, prostitution, dope, or any of these things. Uh, we just worship Satan in a nice, peaceful manner. Simhamparash. Simhamparash. What they